In a way, John Giles, as you look at him on the screen, is representative of the origins of football, that period when scouts brought youngsters to England. Uh, then, of course, the, 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 his father, who played for Bowes, and, uh, and his sons, who played for Shamrock Rovers. So he's really from the texture of the league. He has represented the best of the game in its roots, uh, in its performance, in its service to, um, to the game at home and abroad and throughout the country. I so wish him well. Their league, as you saw it, wasn't a very expressive league at all. Yeah, fact, the well, we were there, and I must say, the manager at the time of the Irish team dropped me uh, for all the games drop, on the I South American tour. I never dropped him, though. I never had him in in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> if the central defenders are doing the job properly, you don't need an extra man to help them. I think you should have more sense and just keep his, keep his Twitters to himself. Johnny Giles, Johnny Giles, on to Dunkley again. The glib phrases that seem to work best on this medium of television won't really do to introduce my next guest, Mr. John Giles. Johnny Giles, thanks for coming in now, you're a gentleman. Standing up for me. And standing up for me, isn't it? Yeah. And turning up worthy. If, you ha if everybody's a caca, <laughs> it wouldn't matter if he was playing with a, with a, with a, with a turn-up belt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can just hold it there. You can see... You see Erwin leaning onto him without giving a penalty kick or a free kick away. And you run on and it shows good balance, good strength to get that little touch. And then we've got touches like that all the time for about four or five times yeah. in the yeah. second half. Do you know what he used to say? Would he kill his granny? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> would he kill his granny? Yeah. And Bobby Collins would kill his granny right. and his grandfather okay, to, so win, what we're to, saying, to win what a we're match. Goalkeepers are, the best goalkeepers are usually very brave. Yeah. Usually nutcases, really, goalkeepers. Yeah. Yeah. John will probably highlight a few a few occasions where he hasn't done all that the, all that well. But to wine John's point of view, your point of view, you think right. he's a good player? I, I think he's done well. Welcome back. We go now to our panel for uh, discussion. And John Giles, let's start with you. I'm told that you were known as Gentleman John because of your your <laughs> your, your your courteous <laughs> way of playing. Sixty-three did have its its high point. It was the year that you got married. Oh, I thought you were going to say it was the year we won the cup. <laughs> <laughs> Most wingers are, are a bit brainless, but there's, there's, there's some good ones as well. You, you can tell by his face he's a bit of a bit of a headbanger. And uh, like, how would you tell by his face? Nah, he's a whole attitude. I'd like to thank the lads, John, Ray, and Eamon. The, the pyramids along the Nile. See the sunrise on a tropic isle. Just remember, John never darling. Goes as as me on anything. But I'm thinking a man like him. You belong to 